My name is Francesco, I am a data scientist, I work at Red Hat in the AI Center of Excellence and today I'm going to introduce you Project Tot. So how many of you use uh, Python? Raise your hand. Okay, so how do you choose the dependency for your project? So what we are doing right now is to collect uh, many metrics, observation from different uh, uh, application stacks. So we start from the application level the uh, direct dependencies, the transitive dependencies as we go down until the hardware, and we collect observation regarding performances, API compatibilities, um, um, sorry, uh, source ops metrics related to GitHub projects, so for example, the time to review or the time to close an issue, which might be interesting if you want to choose also the projects, if you want to know that is a health project. And we also collect observation related to uh, if that uh, specific package can be installed on a specific uh, solver. So if you want to run on Fedora 31 and then you want to move to another OS image, is that going to uh, work? So we collect all these uh, uh, observations and we store them in our knowledge graph. And TOT is a recommendation system. So it uses uh, reinforcement learning to provide the, the best performance uh, software stack depending on the user needs. So let's say you want to have a, a software stack that is more performant or more reliable or more secure. We have all this information stored, and we use AI basically to provide uh, this uh, software stack. Um, we have uh, uh, a project on, on GitHub, of course. We have a website. And uh, you are free to open issue or put a request if you want to join. We are, again, uh, tomorrow at FOSDEM. If you want to know more about the project, there will be one of my colleagues that is going to present thought more into the details. And uh, we're going to explain also all the uh, architecture behind it. Um, how Two minutes. OK. Uh, so. Um, we, the so TOT in general is uh, uh, deployed on uh, multi namespaces. So we have several services and uh, APIs that uh, collect all these observations. And um, basically, we are um, trying to answer this question for the, for the developer. I don't know uh, if I ask uh, how do you choose your dependency, what would be your answer? Anyone? Like the latest release, more stable one? License. Licenses. So we are, we collect those, this observation. So we're trying to give, let's say, an educated uh, get, um, recommendation to the user. So you don't just choose because that is the latest one, but it's because I want to use that uh, application for performance. So and that's it. If you have uh, any question, please uh, ask. Yes. What room are you in tomorrow? Uh, I can tell you. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, how do you measure performance? Like so, basically, we we are analyzing several algorithms. So you you take several state of the art algorithms, and we decompose them in uh, several uh, backbone of the algorithm. So you they, you will always use specific uh, convolutional two D or MATLAB or whatever. So we take these single pieces, and uh, basically we have one of the components that uh, built the. So you choose uh, one, uh, one operating system, one, some of these packages, one specific version, and then we run this simple script for MATMUL, for convolutions of it. So it's mostly done for AI software stacks. So most of the performance are done, and we have uh, observation from TensorFlow, PyTorch, so we collect all of them. Other questions? Thank you very much. Thank you.